everyone. Today we're going to go through how to create a DXF when you have a part that you need to cut multiple quantities of for one sheet of metal. For example, this is our battery terminal that we need to cut about 200 of from one sheet of copper. To create this DXF, first open the part file of the part that you want to create the DXF for, and then go to File, select New, and start a new assembly. Click the part name of the part you're creating the DXF for and drag it in. Next, right click the part and select float. This will allow us to make this part to a specific plane to make sure that it's flat and comes out correctly in the DXF. I'm going to make it to the front plane. Select the front plane, select mate, select the bottom face of your part, the coincident mate, and the check mark. Check mark. Next, we're going to define the size of the metal that we purchased. In this case, we bought a three foot by three foot piece of copper. To do this, you're gonna create a sketch on the plane that you just mated your part to. So select sketch, and then the front plane. Draw a box and dimension it to the size of your material. So again, ours is three feet by three feet. Exit the sketch and make sure that your view is on so that you can see the sketch. This is now the size of the material we have and this is the part we're going to copy to fill out this material so we can cut the quantity that we need. Next, go to Assembly, Linear Component Pattern, and select Linear Component Pattern. You're going to define the two directions that you're going to multiply this part by, and these should be linear directions. So the first direction I'm going to select is this one, and the second direction I'm going to select is this one. For components to pattern, I'm going to select this, which is my component that I want to pattern. Next, I'm going to define the number of rows and columns, or essentially the number of parts I want to create on the sheet. I need around 200 of these terminals, so I'm going to start with a base number to try to fill out the material, and then I'm going to adjust the distances accordingly. So I'm going to start with 46, long ways, and 4, along the X direction. As you can see, these parts very obviously go directly off our bounds of the sheet metal, and they're overlapping each other. To fix this, you need to fix the distance between each part. To fix the um, Y direction, I'm going to decrease the distance till they are within my metal. And to fix in the X direction, I'm going to increase the distance till they are not overlapping. When selecting the distances between each part in both directions, you want to make sure you consult the appropriate people to make sure that the distance between each part is okay for the type of manufacturing you're doing. If it's laser cutting or water jetting, you're going to want a specific amount of distance, maybe a sixteenth or an eighth of an inch in between each piece so that you don't accidentally cut the material of the adjacent terminal or the adjacent part and you leave enough space for the cutter to actually cut the parts. So this is okay. Again, you determine the spacing based on your application and select okay. Once this is done, You've now laid out your parts. You can calculate by multiplying this by this how many pieces you're going to produce from this uh, DXF and make sure it meets the requirements. And then you can go ahead and just delete this sketch. Next, you're going to save this as a part. So you're going to go to Save As you're going to go to SOLIDWORKS part and place it in your appropriate folder. Once you've saved it as a part, you're going to open it. I'm going to open a previous part I made 
with a similar linear pattern, but less terminals. Once you open your part, you may have to do feature rec recognition. Just press no to that. And you can save it as a DXF. So select a face and press control eight. This will make sure you're square to the face you want to produce in the DXF. Press file, save as, and as save as type, select DXF and press save. Again, this box will come up. If you selected the correct face and press Control-8, you should be square to the face, so you can do current. Otherwise, you can click these other options to see which one you want to produce for your DXF. Press OK. And I'll then show you a preview of this DXF. If it looks right, then you press Save, and you can now upload it so you can send it to the manufacturer. Thank you.